one of the things that we are constantly dealing with in our schools and with, with uh, our kids is it's always somebody else's fault. I didn't cause it, somebody else did, versus this is how I responded. One of the things I, I wanted to uh, share a story with you when I was an administrator, I had a parent who was very upset because someone had spit on their child. What would you do if somebody spit on your child in the hallway during an altercation? What's your initial thought, your automatic thought? You want to spit back on the <laughs> Yeah, let's be real. All right, we want to know who that child is, where they came from, what's their address, and I want to get my hands on them so that I can do the same thing. The problem was is that the child who got spit on punched him in the face. So now we had two things going on. The school's natural reaction was, let's get a bunch of witnesses and let's see who started it. But the bottom line was, you punch somebody in the face, which is really, was really, really difficult. It took us a long time to get past that. But that kid spit on my kid, of course. Understandably, understandably, but they punched him in the face. And that's what we gotta get to with the kids, is we gotta get them to, we, we don't wanna go in there and defend them. Of course we do. But the idea is, you're in control of your response and only your response. You can never control the other side of the circle we can never control what comes at us at a meeting, even if we might not like what we hear, but we can control how we respond to it. Thank you for watching today. While you're there, share this video with friends, colleagues, or anyone you think would benefit from it. You can sign up to receive these videos every week right in your inbox at www.christialesher.com. You can also follow me on Facebook. Join the conversation on changing the worst classroom behavior. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Polly Bath. Until next time, have a great day.